Hi viewers. Today we will talk about pro drug. So, let's get straight into it. Almost all drugs possess some undesirable physico-chemical and biological properties. Their therapeutic efficacy can be improved by minimizing or eliminating the undesirable properties while retaining the desirable ones. This can be achieved through biological, physical or chemical means. The biological approach is to alter the route of administration which may or may not be acceptable to the patient. The physical approach is to modify the design of the dosage form such as controlled delivery of drugs. The third and the best approach in enhancing drug selectivity while minimizing toxicity is the chemical approach. Prodrug is also a kind of chemical modification, so let's discuss it in detail. A prodrug is a chemically modified inert drug precursor, which upon biotransformation, liberates the pharmacologically active parent compound. A prodrug is also called as pro-agent bioreversible derivative or latentiated drug. The design approach is also referred as drug latentiation. The ideal properties of pro-drugs are as follows. Drug and the carrier linkage must be cleared in vivo. It should not have intrinsic pharmacologic activity. It should rapidly transform, chemically or enzymatically, into the active form where desired. The metabolic fragments, apart from the active drug, should be non-toxic. Depending on the constitution, lipophilicity, and method of bioactivation, prodrugs are classified into two main categories. Number one is carrier-linked prodrugs. And number two is bioprecursors. Let's first talk about carrier-linked. Carrier-linked prodrugs or simple prodrugs are the ones where the active drug is covalently linked to an inert carrier or transport moiety. They are generally esters or amides. Such prodrugs have greatly modified lipophilicity due to the attached carrier. The active drug is released by hydrolytic cleavage, either chemically or enzymatically. Now, let's talk about bioprecursors. Bioprecursors or metabolic precursors are inert molecules obtained by chemical modification of the active drug, but do not contain a carrier. Such moiety has almost the same lipophilicity as the parent drug and is bioactivated generally by redox biotransformation only enzymatically. Prodrugs are also classified according to the functional groups. They are carboxylic acids and alcohols, amines, azu linkages, and carbonyl compounds. If we talk about the applications of prodrug, the aim of prodrug development is, in most cases, to solve specific pharmaceutic or pharmacological and pharmacokinetic problems. Let's first talk about pharmaceutical applications. The undesirable organoleptic properties and the physicochemical problems associated with drug formulations can be resolved by improvement of taste, improvement of odor, change of physical form for preparation of solid dosage forms, Reduction of GI irritation. Reduction of pain at injection site. Enhancement of drug solubility and dissolution rate. Enhancement of chemical stability of drug. And if we talk about pharmacokinetic applications, these includes. Enhancement of bioavailability. Prevention of pre-systemic metabolism. Prolongation of duration of action. Reduction of toxicity and site-specific drug delivery or drug targeting. So, that's all for today. Hope you like this video. For more content like this, keep watching.